What is going on guys, it is JJ here back with another U19 Euro reaction video. Finally, uh, we get the rematch of the 2018 final between Italy and Portugal and it was a complete opposite from what the 2018 final was with Portugal led by Felix Correra and Suarez, uh, Suarez Cordoso dominating in this contest three to nothing uh and what was just a shambolic defending display from italy italy could not stop portugal from pretty much doing whatever they pleased i mean obviously portugal are out to defend their title uh out to continue uh to push forward i, I believe spain and portugal is going to be a really really good matchup uh because spain obviously seven time u19 uh euro european champions against the defending champions from just last year's final uh portugal and and in this game, I, I just don't... I, I never really saw how Italy got into the contest. They had a couple of, of really good opportunities, but they could never just put it on frame. I mean, they struggled. They really did struggle uh, to put pretty much any shot on frame. Only one shot on target out of 10 attempts uh, compared to eight shots on target on just 11 attempts for Portugal. So pretty much a tale of two sides of efficient attacking. Uh, and then uh, it's just the midfield of Italy was just getting overrun. I feel like pretty much the entire game. Uh, it, it was it was really a struggle to, to sort of watch them play this this you know, four, four in the back style, when at the U19 level, it kind of works easier if they play, you know, like that, that 3 5 2 or the 3 4 1 2. Uh, because in this game, the midfield needed some desperate help, and there was nothing that could really be done, I mean, to help them. Uh, and Portugal on the U19 side, I know it's, it's, it's sort of a rejuvenation of Portuguese football in itself, I feel like. Uh, when you look at what, you know, the, the, progress from the 2014 World Cup to now has done. Uh, it's been an emphasis on essentially just youth development uh, and, and building a, a technically gifted uh, nation of footballers. And whether it's the U21 level, whether it's the U19 level, the U18s, or even the senior national side, there's a lot of youth and experience and development there that are not only technically gifted, but they're tactically astute. And, and this game was like the perfect example of it because Portugal were, were kind of playing what was a, a sort of Guardiola-esque style where pretty much it, they could, you know, bury whatever you know incisive pass was given to them uh in a certain area it, it was it was, looked almost easy at times felix Correra's goal is a good example because it was pretty much it just a very very long ball uh from the keeper in, in the 51st minute tucks it away and then they could pretty much just sit on it like they sat on uh, a lot of the essentially the chances that italy gave uh in the second half uh because i mean you're already up three nil so what's the point in you know continuing to push and push and push yet Portugal could still find a way to do it, and it made it just all that more surprising uh, how dominant the, the performance was because I thought Portugal could have had more. I thought they could have had easily gone for four or five, um, especially after letting off the gas in the second half. There, there wasn't really much more of a push, so I, I was a little disappointed that they didn't continue to go for more, but nonetheless, they end up with that victory, uh, and so it's a, it's a good takeaway from, from the first match day of the U19 Euros to not only get a rematch of the final, but to win it so handily. Uh, it makes everything that much sweeter uh, in terms of, you know, progressing as we continue forward in the tournament, considering there's only eight teams here uh, in the first place in just Group A and Group B. Uh, so this Portuguese side, I think, is going to continue to do pretty much whatever they want. I feel like them versus Spain will probably be the big telltale uh, because it's a lot of a lot of sides and a lot of players uh, that play, you know, rather uh, right under or at the level uh, of their, you know, their biggest national club side. So whether it's Benfica, Porto, Sporting Lisbon, or, or for Spain, you know, Barcelona B, Sevilla, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, all of these players uh, have probably, you know, played each other, if not at the club level, uh, then at this, at this U19 national level. So it'll be exciting to see that matchup, but this game was was something, you know, of, of a dominant display. It was less exciting, more uh, clinical from Portugal in its entirety. Uh, but guys, that is it. Italy uh, lose to Portugal in the opening round uh, of the U19 Euros. I mean, obviously this Italy squad can still bounce back. It, it, there's nothing, you know, that they can't do. The Spain uh, U21 side is a good example. They lost the first game to a much more talented Italy side and still went on to win the U U21 Euros. So, I mean, it, it's, it's an L here but I mean you can always bounce back from it but Portugal continue to win uh, in that U19 Euros they're, they're off to the a good start for the title defense winning 3 to nothing over Italy you guys should let me know your thoughts on the contest down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and peace